Hi guys, Chris with Microsoft here with another exciting episode of What's New in Windows Server 2012. Today we're going to be talking about what the heck happened to my stuff. Alright, so one of the more common questions that I keep getting from people is, hey, what what is the deal with the no start button? And what people don't realize is there actually is still a start button, as you can see here. All I did was move my mouse down near pixel 00, zero and when I get close to it, the start button appears. The start button simply no longer takes up any real estate on the taskbar. So that's number one in what happened to my stuff. The start button is still here. People ask what happened to my start menu. We replaced the start menu with a start screen. The start screen is a full screen version of the old start menu. So we did not get rid of it, we just made it bigger. And as you can see, a lot of people We'll come in here, take a look at this, and they say, well, there's not anything here, right? Just like in the list of programs that were recently accessed in the old school uh, start menu, there's only a few things that are pre-populated here. Right-clicking any open space will give me the ability to go to all apps. This gives me all of the programs that are installed on this particular server. Now, I can use my mouse to scroll back and forth. I could also use my scroll wheel in the middle of my mouse to scroll back and forth on this list. And if I were running full screen, I could just simply get to the edge of this screen and as I move to the right, it will move the, the menu back and forth. That works on Windows 8 as well. Looking at these programs, I can also pin things to the start menu. The server manager's already pinned and it's pinned on the taskbar. By right clicking this, I have several different options. So let's say that I wanted to take perfmon and get it into the start menu. All I have to do is say pen to start. I can also right click it and pin it to the taskbar. Now when I'm sitting here, I've got perfmon. One thing that you couldn't easily do with the old school start menu was personalize this. I wasn't able to move things around very easily, although you could create your own personalized experience with the start menu and the all programs. It just wasn't it just wasn't really very much me. If I wanted to pull this over here and maybe pull administrative tools and control panel and PowerShell maybe, I could pull that over here. Now I've got some categories. I can name these categories by simply coming down here to this little minus sign that's, that's uh, at, the, at the bottom right of the screen. And when I click on this, it makes all this stuff kind of small. If I right click on one of them, I can name that. So I can call this Tools. And maybe I could call this one Stuff. And maybe I want this one over here. So I have the ability to move that around and create my own groups and really kind of personalize this and, and make it my own. So I always like to keep the desktop down here kind of right at the, uh, you know, the, the beginning of this start screen. So again, I just right click and go back to all apps. Maybe I've got a, uh, a need to run the command prompt as administrator. So here it is, right click it, run as administrator. And there we are. I have a command prompt as an administrator. Pin this to the taskbar, and now it's just always here. Shift and right click, go to properties. I can even come in and say advanced and say run as administrator every time. This is Windows 7 stuff. This is Windows Server 2008 stuff. That's all part of the Arrow experience. Arrow's not dead. Arrow's still here. Everything you could do arrow-wise in Windows 7, Windows uh, Server 2008 R2, you can still do with Windows 8 and Windows Server 2012. With the exception of just a couple of things. Like Windows Key Tab used to do a kind of Rolodex scroll through programs, and now it does a uh, an alternation between full screen apps, which on most of your servers aren't going to be there anyway, unless you install the desktop experience. Then you can put the store in. But th everything in Windows with the mouse in Server 2012 and Windows 8 is really about the corners. So we saw this corner down here. Now on the bottom right and top right, we have the charms. I can get to the charms by getting to the top right of this menu. The charms can be transparent, as you see here, and then they go away. Or I can go up to the top and then pull down. Or I can go down to the bottom and then pull up and I get this more solid looking charms. The charms are settings, or search rather, 
the start menu, and then the settings term below that. Search is a real easy way to just quickly jump to all programs. So if you don't like that full screen start menu thing, if you don't like coming in here and looking at this, bypass it all together. Roll your mouse up to the top right or the bottom right and then go into this search and now you've got all programs. Everything that's installed on the machine listed right here. So very simple to use. If you're working in a, uh, a uh, VM and you're having a little trouble with your mouse getting down into this bottom left, that's another way that you can get to the start menus by clicking that. And again, right click, now lapse, here we are. I actually find this to be incredibly convenient. The bottom is settings. Clicking on settings brings up what's called the six pack. The six pack, in this case, you can see I have the VAN, or view available networks. Clicking on this will bring me up to the network connections. It's the same as clicking down here. This is also the view available networks. So it's just a shortcut to getting there. The six pack is also the easiest way to restart your server other than doing control alt delete. In this same screen we could turn on and off volume, change screen brightness, much more relevant probably in most cases to your Windows 8 installs. It's also a very easy way to get to the control panel. So pull up the old style uh, control panel. Looks just the same. Another very important tool is Windows Key X. This is your friend. If you don't get anything else out of this video, Windows Key X is your friend. Windows Key X brings up this guy. This Quick Links menu, which is Hotkey Accelerator Key Enabled, has one of just about everything you need, right? Run, uh, search, getting in here to Task Manager, Control Panel, Control Panel, or Command Prompt as an Administrator, uh, Computer Management, Disk Management, Device Management, the System, Event Viewer, it's all right here. It's a super easy way. Windows key X to get to everything. I can go A after this and I've got a command prompt as an administrator. Windows key X followed by the keystroke G brings me up to computer management. Windows key X followed by the keystroke N brings me to device manager. Windows key X followed by the keystroke um, uh, K brings me straight to disk management. So great little quick utility. And We talked about all the tools you get with server manager that's another of your two main things you want to get to uh, to very quickly manage this, this stuff in Windows Server 2012. So another f uh, fairly common question is, hey Chris, that's great, I saw you were able to get to the start, uh, the uh, restart and shutdown commands by pulling up those charms, but where's log off? Log off, we actually separated that, it's in a different place. Log off is right here, as you can see, lock sign out. This is off the start menu whereas power off is right here. And immediately I get a handful of people saying, well Chris, I just like them to be in one place. Hey, no problem. Done. Action, control, delete. Here we go. I've got my log off right here, sign out. And I got my power commands for restarting and shutdown right there. All in one screen. Just do the control. Alt and a few people have mentioned that they aren't really thrilled with the new view available networks. They they like the old school way of, of looking at the uh, network control panel applet. You can still get there very easily by right clicking on the view available networks or the van. Go into open network and sharing center or click change adapter settings. And here you go. Another very easy way to get there if you're more of a keyboard type of person. Windows key R N C P A dot C P L P L Network control panel applet dot control panel. If you can remember that, hit enter. There's the network control panel. That's actually been around for quite some time, but it's something you might want to know about now. A lot of people were very accustomed to going into Explorer or uh, to start and then right clicking on computer to go to manage. That's still very easy to do. You've got Explorer pinned right here. Right clicking on computer will allow you to go to computer management. Of course, it's server manager now, but most of your tools are in here in this menu. The old style computer management is right off of Windows key X. There you go. Now on Windows 8, just incidentally, this will not bring up server manager when you right click on computer and go to manage. That actually brings up the old style 
uh, computer manager rather than server manager. If you want to get to system, right click, computer, properties, here we go. Now we can come in here to advanced, and we can change our computer name and do all that stuff that we used to do by right clicking on my computer. Okay, so something else that changed is the way Explorer looks. When I bring up Windows Explorer, we've actually added Office 2010 slash Office 2013 style ribbon bars. So if I pull this little chevron down, I can actually see all of the tools that I would use uh, for browsing around, let's say, here in the uh, file system. I've got disk drive tools right here. Click on that, formatting, optimizes got view where I can show hidden files. If you still want to see the operating system files, that's right here under view. This is the uh, same view that you're accustomed to. So we've got manage and share and home. All of these, if you tap the alt key, are also halt, halt key or accelerator key enabled as well. So lots of quick keyboard shortcuts. We've also added this guy right here called the quick access toolbar. So just one thing you could do with this, for instance, and there's a million things you could do with this, I could right click on this new open command prompt as administrator and I can add it to the quick access toolbar. Now inside of any of my My Computer windows or any of my File Explorer windows, I can click that and open up a command prompt as an administrator. So neat little quick access toolbar and remove it just as easily. Task Manager also got a pretty hefty upgrade but it doesn't look like it when you first launch it. So when I go in here to Task Manager, what you'll see is a fairly simplistic looking interface. So let's Windows key R, Calc, and let's Windows key R, Notepad. In this very simplistic menu, you can see that I have the ability just to click on one of these and end task. Why does this look like this? Well, we found that users, end users, actually have started using Task Manager, always a tool reserved for us IT people in the past. Uh, they do this because they get programs that are not responding. If they see one in here, in their system, a lot of times they'll bring up the Task Manager and they'll go kill it. So what we did was we simplified Task Manager so that's all they see. All you have to do is to say more details. But now you're going to get a whole lot of stuff you didn't get before. So let's go to full screen on Task Manager. A couple of verbiage changes. For one thing, this first tab is now called Processes instead of Programs. And the processes are all broken out by type. Apps, I've got three of them. Background Processes, they're all there. Windows Processes, right here. I also have a Performance tab. You'll notice that the Networking is not included in the Performance tab anymore. The Networking tab used to be its own. It, 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 um, let, me, let me strike that and just say that whole thing again because I think my mind was wandering when I'm talking. Networking used to be its own tab. Um, and by the way, no, I do not edit these videos. I do not even listen to these videos. I just push them out there. So if you've ever wondered why I ramble so much, it's because I don't do any editing. Um, trying to do this as a project to show where we can just throw some ideas together, toss it out on YouTube, and um, you know, people hopefully can get something out of it. Uh, maybe not, but I don't have to spend hours and hours doing editing. Uh, that uh, that's that's a bit of a side subject that I might address in a, si in a different video at some point in time. No more networking tab. We moved all the networking stuffs right in here. CPU, memory, and I see disk. The only reason I see disk is because I've enabled the server to see disk. By default, that won't be here. I have a blog post at 9z.com that'll explain how to get that in there, but just as a really quick uh, reference point, we do disk, perf, forward slash y and that will add those in. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, yes. It does help when you spell things correctly. D -I -S -K -P -E -R -F y. That would add these in. They're already there on Windows 8. We've been asking the perf the uh, uh, the team for a while to be able to put that in there. Uh, they're here now. Some of the improvements in the performance tab, I can see how many sockets I have, how many uh, virtual processors I have, what is the actual speed of the processor. I can right click this and change the graph to logical processors and now it'll break it out by uh, the cores. Um, having the socket view is important because of NUMA nodes. In a later chapter we're going to talk about NUMA nodes. Memory, I can come right in here and I can see how much free memory I have in this little graph. What's in the standby list? and what's in use at this point in time. Where am I at on my commit limit up against the uh, uh, committed bytes? I can see what my latency is on this drive. 
see this on Ethernet. I can also go to the Users tab. If I'm having a performance issue, oh, say maybe on like a, uh, um, a terminal server, I can see performance broken out per user logged onto that server, which is really awesome. Um, then I can break that out and see what program that user is using that's, that's taking that out. Details is just like the old processes, but since we're calling this processes now, we had to come up with a new number, or a num new name rather, for this. And so now, this is called details. Uh, it's the exact same window that you're used to from the old processes. Still sort by CPU, store, still, store, store, yeah, still, blah, 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 still sort by memory. Um, and the, the new thing is that uh, PID is actually in here by default, right? Services, this pretty much does what it did before. So you can right click a uh, service and go straight to the details. It used to say go to process, but since we renamed the tab for detail uh, processes to details and gave processes something else, now it goes to details and there you go. VDS right here, virtual disk service. So task manager, little uh, uh, cool changes here for a lot uh, better functionality. Incidentally, resource monitor is the exact same tool it was before. Perfmon is the exact same tool that it was before. No changes to the, to the bits here for the most part. You know, little 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 improvements here and there, but nothing really worth mentioning. So a big improvements in search as well. So if you never did this on Windows Server 2008 R2 or Windows 7, if you just tap the Windows key right on your keyboard and start typing in Windows 7, immediately the start menu gets consumed with search results. They'll break them out by documents and, and, and control panel settings and um, you know, th the contacts in your email and emails themselves if you're on, on Windows 7 and have that enabled. Uh, that has not changed, it's just now full screen. And, and that's really neat because the, the, the search results that you would get when you were in uh, Windows 7 were limited to that little screen. Now you got a full screen set of results. So I, I, I tap the Windows key on my keyboard and I started typing power just now, right? So now I'm seeing PowerShell. I go to settings, I see power settings. If I had any files in here that had the word power in them, well, they'd show up here. If I'm on Windows 8, I could actually do searches in, in uh, maps and the store for applications that have the word power in them. I can do an Internet Explorer search for power. Not surprisingly, uses Bing, naturally. Um, that's not working because I don't have this guy on the Internet. But just tap one key and then start immediately searching. It's, it's really cool. So bi bi a bit of an improvement there just in the screen real estate that you get. All right. So then uh, one last thing I'll leave you with here is the... Uh, uh, a set of keyboard shortcuts that, that are really relevant to Windows Server 2012. Windows key C will bring up the, uh, the charms. So this is a quick way to, uh, to jump to that. Windows key I will bring you straight to the settings charm and show you the six pack. Windows key K brings you to the devices charm, but that's mostly a Windows 8 thing. Um, Windows key tab would toggle through all of the full screen running apps with the desktop being considered one of those apps, but that would only be relevant to your server if you have installed the desktop experience. If you're in multi-monitor, this screen can be moved from one monitor to another simply with Windows key page up and Windows key page down. It'll change which monitor has the, the full screen. We talked about Windows key X. That's a really, really huge um, uh, keyboard shortcut, but as you can see, I can attach to that at any screen. Right, so it doesn't really matter where I am or what I'm running. Windows Key X is pretty well always available. And then another interesting uh, and very useful shortcut is Windows Key Q, which brings you to all programs. So good, good to uh, know that one for sure. Anyway, so. Anyway, guys, this has been Chris with Microsoft, and as always, thank you for watching. If you found anything about this useful, please give it a quick like, and feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, Big Daddy 9Z. And my blog is uh, 9Z.com, if uh, you want to go check that out, 9Z.com. Real, real easy to remember. It's just that last number, and followed by the last letter, dot .com. Uh, that's also got links to my Facebook, my LinkedIn, and Twitter. Uh, thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.